Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the crochet waffle stitch. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the double crochet stitch, and the front post double crochet stitch. I have videos on all those and I will have them listed down below. I have already made this little test swatch here using two different colors, so it's going to be easy to see how the stitch is going to be made. I will have the yarn that I'm using and the hook that I'm using listed down below. For the body of my test swatch, I have already made the waffle stitch, but we are looking at the back of my work. The reason being, this stitch is made up of two rows alternating, so once I get to the end of my first row, I will turn my work and we'll be able to see the front of my waffle stitch swatch. But right now, we're going to start on that first row, and I have already made three chains on my hook over here. I did want to let you guys know if you are starting from the very beginning making chains, you're going to want to make chains in the multiple of three plus two. You're then going to work your first row being all double crochet. So you're going to work one double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook and then work one double crochet into each chain across for your first row. Your second row and on is going to be the rows that I'm showing you over here. So again, we're going to start with three chains on our hook. That's going to count as one double crochet. You're going to skip over this first stitch right here, connected with those chains. You're going to work a double crochet into the second stitch. So you can see that these next two stitches right here are raised. You're going to do one front post double crochet for each of them. In this next stitch right here, you're going to make one regular double crochet. We've come across these two raised ones right here. You're going to do two front posts again. And this would be the same thing if you're working it over those double crochets for your first row right here. One regular double two front post, one regular double, two front post. Same thing here, we're going to do one regular double, and then two front posts for here, so we're going to repeat that for the rest of our row. We've come to the last two stitches of our row. So in this one, we're going to make a regular double crochet like we've been doing. And then into these previous three chains, we're going to make a double crochet to match the three chains that we made at the beginning of the row. So that's how that row is looking. So I have now made three chains and I have turned my work and this is the front of my work. So this is what the waffle stitch is going to look like. We're now going to continue on that second row. Like I told you, we're going to alternate between two rows to make this stitch. So in the first stitch right here, you're going to skip over it and not work anything into it. Into this stitch right here, you're going to work a front post double crochet. Now 
Next, we have these two double crochet right here. You're just going to work a regular double crochet into each. Into this next double crochet that's raised, you're going to make a front post double crochet. You can start to sort of see how the pattern is now going to repeat. So into any previous front post double crochets that we made on our last row, you're going to work regular double crochets. Into any previous double crochets, you're going to make a front post double crochet. So our last row, these were front, both front posts, you're going to make two regular. In our last row, this was a regular by itself. You're going to make one front post over it. And you're going to repeat this for the rest of your row. We have now reached the end of our row. We made a regular double crochet here in our last row to end it. You're going to make a front post over that one. Then you are going to repeat like we did in the last row and just make one double crochet into those previous three chains. And again, that is going to match those three chains that you made at the beginning of the row. So like I said, you will alternate between these two rows for however long you want your project. That is going to be how to make the crochet waffle stitch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at crochet me lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.